Hey, Explorers, and welcome. I am so excited to speak to you about today's topic of nursery rhymes and finger plays in honor of our new Mommy Me classes at Exceptional Explorers. I wanted to share this exciting topic with you as that was our very first class for our Travelers in Training program. So nursery rhymes and finger plays, a lot of us are familiar with them. We grew up listening to them ourselves. So we know songs like Wheels on the Bus, Itty Bitty Spider, and I'm a Little Teapot. So what makes them so special and why should we continue doing and singing them with our own little babes? Well, first of all, during... Um, nursery rhymes routines you often engage with your baby you check in you make eye contact you're facing your child and uh, those are prerequisites to any social conversation so you're modeling by checking with your baby looking at your baby and um, singing directly to them what a conversation is really like in addition the rhythm um, and the rhyming is very catchy. It is something that really gets that attention from the baby and encourages the joint attention between the two of you. Um, in addition, nursery rhymes tend to be very repetitive. So this repetition is great for language development. Um, and as the babies hear the same words again and again, they're more likely to retain them. Finally, nursery rhymes often come in combination with uh, finger plays, and that is the use of our hands. So not only is it an extra modality that the baby could remember these nursery rhymes through, but once they start imitating and practicing them with you, they are using their own little hands along with you. And um, that is, again, a very great developmental activity as it encourages the use of a fine motor um, in your fingers, your hands. Songs and nursery rhymes are also very predictable due to their um, repetitive nature and so babies um, are more likely to join in after hearing them a few times and would like to finish them with you and eventually even uh, perform them independently. So go ahead and um, start singing these nursery rhymes to your little ones if you haven't been doing it just yet. And if you are, definitely um, in addition to singing them, start using those movements and uh, you're likely to find them online. But um, if not, definitely reach out to us and we would be very, very happy to share gestures and movements for some of the common nursery rhymes and even share some new ones with you. Um, good luck in this endeavor. Keep us posted about how it's coming along and you will definitely see a, a growth in language and vocabulary from your little ones. And if they're not there yet developmentally, they will definitely enjoy the interaction. The big bonus um, of nursery rhymes is also that it is not something you need to purchase. It is very affordable. It is not something you need to pack along. It is something you could just remember and have always with you. So whether you are in a doctor's waiting room, at a playground or a park, or at home, it is something you could just do with your baby anytime you and them are in the mood for one. So enjoy. Thank you for joining me today. Until next time. Bye.